India is going to restructure itself from a global importer to a global exporter when it comes to semiconductors. What is the next big step in semiconductors that India has planned? And why self-reliance is the key in the chaotic global order for India as of now? What is common in EVs, mobile phones and missiles? That is chips. And now India is gearing up to make them at home. Union cabinet has approved four units of semiconductor manufacturing in India worth 4,594 crores, which is a giant leap in India's future tech. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today in Flash News, we are going to talk about this giant leap that Union Cabinet and India has taken in terms of semiconductor manufacturing and self-reliance. So let us begin with understanding this approval. So this approval has come in for four new semiconductor manufacturing units under the India Semiconductor Mission. And the total investment that has been approved has been of 4,594 crores just for these four projects. Now, if we talk about the locations of this particular project, which are upcoming, two of them are located in Odisha. Then we have one in Punjab and one in Andhra Pradesh. And this lays down the larger framework because with this approval, now we have 10 approved semiconductor projects worth almost 1.6 lakh crore, which has been in terms of investment. And it not just aligns with our self-reliant mission, but also digital India, make in India industrial policies. Now that the approval has come in, let us talk about that what is the implication when we are talking about it for the Indian economy as well as for the national security. For this, first we have to understand that why semiconductors are important. In today's world, semiconductors are like critical minerals because they are a very strategic assets. They are used in almost everything associated with modern technology, be it smartphones, be it cars, be it defense systems, satellite, EVs, data centers, all of them use the chips which are made using semiconductors. Now, if we want to advance in this modern technology, the basic thing required is semiconductor manufacturing. And another problematic part with Indian economy was in terms of import, we have been 100% dependent on countries like Taiwan, South Korea and China. Taiwan is responsible for almost 90% production as well as processing of semiconductor. Now this industry is concentrated, the global supply chain kind of chokes at Taiwan. That is why Taiwan enjoys this economic deterrent in the situation it has with China. So we are import dependent, but semiconductor is a strategic asset. And that is why we have learnt our lesson that we don't want to be heavily dependent on other countries. For example, when supply shocks take place, this supply chain is disrupted and we suffer heavily. So we don't want to be dependent and that is why there is an immense push on manufacturing locally in our economy and becoming a global exporter for semiconductors. Now that we have established that why semiconductor is a strategic asset, now let us move ahead and talk that how it will become important and how it will deliver for Indian economy. So as of now, Indian economy through India's semiconductor mission aims to scale the industry of semiconductors to almost $1 trillion by 2030 which is as of now if you compare the recent numbers almost half of it. So if we achieve this, we will also receive self-reliance in chips, which is important for national security as well and economic independence. So for this, we need to target the domestic demand because we are importing for domestic demand as well. And we have to couple it with the fact that our production is as much that we are able to export it as well. And that is why we are focusing on making sure that domestic demand is fulfilled in-house in the economy and we are exporting as well. And all of this is our work to capture at least 
वन ट्रिलियन डॉलर वर्थ ऑफ द सेमी कंडक्टर मार्केट बाय टू थाउजेंड थर्टी ना लेट मूव अहेड एंड टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट दीज फोर न्यू यूनिट्स विच आर कमिंग अप सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दीज यूनिट्स इंडिविजुअली लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द वन वी हैव इन ओडिशा सो ओडिशा हैज गॉट टू मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स विच आर कमिंग अप बट दे आर डिस्टिंक्ट इन देयर ओन वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट लोकेशन इट इज फॉर कंपाउंड फैब एंड इट ऑल्सो हैज ए टी एम पी बट इट इज बींग द बैकर हेयर इज सिसम प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एंड द इन्वेस्टमेंट इज अराउंड टू थाउजेंड करोड़ वेर एज द अदर वन इज बाय थ्री डी क्लास इंक एंड इट फोकस ऑन एडवांस्ड पैकेजिंग नाउ दिस मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट हैज बैकर फ्रॉम यू के दिस मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट हैज बैकर फ्रॉम यू एस ए इट विल फैसिलिटेट द स्ट्रेंथनिंग स्पेशली ऑफ सिलिकॉन कार्बाइड चिप्स and manufacturing which are known for their high durability this particular unit will focus on glass based substrates and also 3d heterogeneous integrated packing which is another form of advanced packaging which directly facilitates in national security as well as defense which facilitates in making up devices smaller and highly efficient when we talk about the other two plants that we have in front of us the one coming in andhra pradesh is backed by south korea and here we are again focusing on advanced system in packaging tech which improves their packaging also enhances their connectivity to other devices and protection as well when we talk about punjab there is no backer which has been mentioned yet it has been done by continental device india and in of these units the least investment is going here and this will be focusing on discrete semiconductor devices which will directly help in fast chargers home appliances etc now all of these approved units 10 in total will directly help in diversifying the semiconductor market that we are targeting in front of us now directly let us move to understand the economic impact that will be coming from these particular units if we talk about the economics boost the first thing that we'll see is job creation so we are expecting 2000 plus direct job creation and more indirect job creation if we are talking about logistics maintenance etc when we are talking about the ecosystem development we have to understand that this will these such units will directly encourage test labs suppliers which will set up a whole ecosystem in development then it will directly have a strategic impact in terms of security where we will not be import dependent as of now we are looking at 100% import dependency and we will resilient against global supply shocks especially in this industry which directly impacts our national security as well then if we are talking about technology definitely the innovation part is getting an upgrade here we are getting entry into the compound semiconductors as well as advanced packaging which is a clear proof that we are entering the high tech tech fields of the upcoming time furthermore we will also get to see that in the coming times there is opening of doors for defense tech exports we are already doing very well in terms of defense exports if we look at the data of last 10 years our numbers have more than quadrupled and the cutting edge electronics will also be a domain where we can see innovation as well as entering global supply chain all of this facilitates india's long term vision where we are trying to bring in the semiconductor ecosystem in our home in our economy where we are not dependent where we are creating it and exporting it in this we are also trying to train 60000 plus semiconductor engineers so that we do not have to import semiconductor human talent required to function the industry further we we are building capacity in chip design fabrication testing and creating a full stack semiconductor system which will help india to position itself as a global manufacturing hub of semiconductor supply chain and india will be not just resilient 
but nationally secure in terms of economic factors as well as strategic factors. Now that was all from my side. Thank you so much.